Hi, I'm Pastor Darren, and welcome to Word for the Week. I want to talk to you today about the peace of Christ. In Isaiah chapter 11, God, through the prophet Isaiah, is giving us a prophecy to those that Isaiah was speaking to in his day and to us as well today of what the world and all of creation is going to be like after Jesus' final return and is overseeing all things, when all things have submitted to him. And we get a little image of this in verse 6. The wolf will live with the lamb, the leopard will lie down with the goat, the calf and the lion and the yearling together, and a little child shall lead them. Imagine that. These mortal enemies all hanging around together in peace, and to such a degree that even a child could lead them around as a child might a dog today. That is real peace, where there's no confrontation, no conflict. So how does this help us today? Well, it gives us an image of the hope that is to come, and it also reminds us of the peace that Jesus provides for us right now. Through Jesus' sacrifice to forgive us of our sin, through God reminding us that he knows all the things we need and that he will provide for them. He knows what we need, and so we don't have to worry about tomorrow. We don't have to concern ourselves with what's going to happen because he will lead us. It is God's desire for us to prosper and not to fail. All we have to do is trust in him. So this week, I want you to think about the peace of Christ, not only that's coming, but the peace that we can enter into right now. That peace, just like a lion and a lamb lying down together, where there's no need to fear, no need to be concerned. What does that look like in your life? Can you trust God enough to know that tomorrow he will be there to take care of us? He will provide for our needs. He will strengthen us. He will equip us for what we need. And we will be able to have that peace. We'll be able to live in it until we get to experience it fully after his return and our resurrection. So live in that peace of Christ this week. Take time and really experience what it is to know the peace of Christ. I'm Pastor Darren. That's your word for the week. God bless and have a wonderful day.